Oh my gosh, my nail popped off. Great. Listen, I just moved. I don't know where any of my nail glue is. I just bought another one on Amazon, but right now we gotta improvise, okay? Okay. So cute. I cannot. Like, I can't. I cannot. 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 Why is digital nail planning like everything I've ever needed? Yellow. So cute. I cannot. 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 I Cute, cute, cute. Love it, 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 love it. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna be honest with you, these might disappear. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Lala here, and we are back with another video, and my iPad is dying. Great. Anyway, I have something really exciting for you. We are coming out with handmade the jellies so we're gonna be um dropping all of the jellies um the digital nail charm pack that i you know i've been talking about for a really long time um i did ask you guys if you wanted the full thing and like wait a little bit longer for it all together or if you just wanted the jellies now since they were done already and you guys opted for jellies now and i don't blame you because i mean <laughs> it makes your life so much easier and they're really really nice so i'm gonna show you what they're looking like and how you're gonna use them and yeah let's get into it i'm gonna show you what it what they look like um this is the final pack this is what it'll look like when you import it into procreate all of the jellies are separated on individual layers and they're named this right here how to chrome i created a group um, showing you how to turn the jellies into chrome but i'm gonna leave that for later just let you know the basics about this pack so this is essentially a digital nail charm pack and what i love about it and what makes everything so easy for you guys is that you can just literally select whatever layer you want. So let's say if you're on Procreate, we can copy, go into any nail art we want. Um, this is what I was working on and this is the nail design that I'm going to be using to demonstrate the nail charms today. And then um, you swipe down with three fingers and you click paste. And then that'll paste that jelly into this nail art and you can tweak it you can size it down to fit the nail a little bit better you can rotate it you can liquefy it and kind of make it maybe i'll make that a little bit bigger you can liquefy it and like kind of make it work a little bit more um, in terms of the shape you can even change the color of them. So let's say I want this over here on this nail, but we have like this vertical ombre situation going on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a layer on top, set it to clipping mask, and go down to color, change your blend mode to color. You just click on this letter here, and then scroll down until you see color. And then we're gonna go in with our aura brush, and I'm going to, just tap and hold so I can select that blue and then I'm going to color over the jelly that is on blue with the blue and then I'm going to tap and hold onto the yellow and then I'm going to just draw over the jelly that has yellow and then as you can see it'll fit more into um, your design that way um, I'm just going to tap on it and lighten it a little bit because I feel like It'll make it look more translucent, like you have clear gel on top of the nail. Um, so I brought the brightness up from 50 to 53. But that's optional, you don't have to do that. That's just my own personal preference. Um, and yeah, so once you're done with that, you can merge it. And there we have our um, blue-yellow jelly. And let's say, you know, I wanna flip it vertically and have something going on like that or whatever you can do that so they're pretty customizable you can change the color you can change the shape you can rotate flip and do all of that the third make it smaller make it bigger um it's very versatile so i love 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 that and that's when you're using it in procreate now let's go over to good notes and then i'm going to go into good notes i did make a good notes version of the same sticker pack as well because there are a lot of people who design their nails in good notes and i want you guys to have you know some of the same things that the people who use procreate have these nails are so long i'm so not used to long nails oh my gosh okay so um in good notes i'm gonna go out a little bit and i'm going to tap here and click image i'm going to insert that nail art and then I'm going to, I can go back and forth like this between the two 
if I want to do it like that to copy and paste. So what we're going to do to use it in GoodNotes is we're going to make sure that we are not in reader mode, but we're in writer mode by clicking on this button here. And we're going to click on our lasso tool and you want to make sure that your lasso tool has images checked on. Okay. And then let's say this time around, I want to use this one. I can just copy and go back to my artwork and paste. And then, and then I can just resize it to like let, make it fit the nail a little bit more. So in terms of changing the color in GoodNotes, it's a little bit tricky, but I don't think it's impossible. So we're gonna go in with our um, highlighter tool and I'm gonna try to find, I'm gonna move the, one second. I'm gonna move this image over to um, the blue and yellow side. I'm going to use my highlighter tool. I have not done this. So let's see if it works. Um, I know that with good notes, things are a little bit. Ooh. Okay, so it kind of, it really does change the entire thing. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. Okay. Okay. You know, something like that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hold on. Maybe this one, I'm gonna have to get a little bit more precise. Good Notes is not like Procreate at all. It's not an art app, it's a note-taking app. So there's, um, there isn't as much like creative freedom, but you know, this is what we're working with. I personally prefer Procreate. I do recommend Procreate more than anything else, but Good note still works. Like you can still work around this. Like it's not that it's not that big a deal, especially if you're making references for yourself. That's more than enough. But that's how we use it in Good Notes, and it works the same way. You can also just um, use your images button here, and then find that same image in your photos. Which brings me to the next version that Handmade Jellies came in, which is photos, individual PNGs. So um, I did um, upload them to my iPad already so they are all in my photos and they are translucent so I can go into good notes and I can click any one of these okay well you can maybe not that one this one and I can size it down and do stuff like that and then it'll still be translucent and it can also be in the stickers so if I click on the sticker button in good notes and I scroll all the way to the bottom like scroll the bottom all the way to like the last part we're gonna have this plus button and this way we can add a new collection of stickers and these will all stay trans transparent so uh, I'm gonna call this handmade dash jellies and I'm gonna add photos and then I can easily add all the photos I want to this and click add and create okay and then we're good to go and we can start adding jellies like that and they'll stay translucent and they won't create that white background um, with these jellies they are like a neutral pink tone um, if that's not working for you in good notes maybe you want them just like white if I get enough requests I'll create um, an addition to, for the good notes import them all so i'm going to go into my files app and this is how um handmade will be uh laid out um, by the time you get it there'll be another folder that says youtube tutorials which is the video i'm recording right now um but that'll be there as well but as you can see we have the uh good notes file the individual PNGs, which is a folder that has all of the individual PNGs in it. And we have the Procreate file. To import to Procreate, you just simply tap on it and it'll import to Procreate. As you can see, it's right here. To import to GoodNotes, you tap on it, you go to the share button here, and then you're gonna click open in GoodNotes. This will open GoodNotes and then it's gonna ask you if you want to import it to the current document that you're in or if you want to import it as a new document you're going to click import as a new document okay and then it'll pop up like that okay and then you can do this 
where um, you get your lasso tool, you tap, you click copy, you go back to your artwork and you click paste by holding it down and click paste. And then for the PNGs, you would simply um, click on the individual PNGs, click on this ellipsis button, click select. You're going to select um, all by clicking select all. We're going to click on share and we're going to save 30 images and then that's going to save to our photos app. I already did it. Um, and then from there, let's say if we're in Procreate, split view Procreate with our photos app and we're going to choose the one we want. Mm, let's say we're going to go for, what are we feeling for right now? Maybe gloves. And then we're going to slide that in. And let's say we want to add multiple, right? Um, always make sure to tap like any one of these buttons here just to turn off that um, select around the one you just put so that you can put another one. Because if we don't click any one of these buttons and we keep it selected, when we try to add another one, excuse me, when we try to add another one, it won't let us. Okay, it won't let us. So just click any one of these buttons just to turn off the select and then we can go ahead and add another one as we please okay with the photos in goodnotes um i don't suggest split viewing with goodnotes because like i said it's going to change the file from png to anything else and it'll have a white background it won't be useful so when you're using the individual photos the individual pngs with goodnotes you want to um, either go to your photos here or you want to um use the sticker system i went over the three formats that it comes in how to import them all how to use them all and according to what software you like to use to plan and now i'm going to show you in procreate how you can turn this jelly here oops i'm not in procreate how we can turn a jelly let's just split view and grab another one i'm going to go for this one We're going to turn this jelly into a chrome. Okay, so I want this here. And I I don't know, should I go for silver or gold? I don't know. Let's just go for silver for now. I am going to duplicate this and then merge it. I'm doing this so that it takes away some of the translucency from the jelly. Sorry, with long nails, it's so hard to do, I swear. But normally you just pinch them together and they'll go together but it's just so okay there we go merge them so duplicate and merge them and then we're going to add a new layer and we're going to set it to clipping mask and we're going to scroll down until we get to color and we're going to change our color to like a light gray go over to our aura brush and then we're just going to go over the jelly and then now we have chrome it looks real good like i'm really excited for you guys to have this and yeah um, I guess I'll just finish up this design with what I would actually want it to look like and we'll be back. Okay, you guys. So this is the final design. This is the details I want to get up close and personal to show you, you know, but this is the final design. It's giving like garden lemonade picnic, you know, friendly little snakey. The snake is so cute. So um, when I finish like the flower and fauna versions of the, um, sorry, I'm like so out of frame. Once I finish the flower and fauna versions of the handmade nail charms, those will come out. And then I also have a bunch of chrome ones that'll come out too. So don't worry, good notes. You guys are going to be covered too with the chrome and it's going to be super sick and I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, jellies are out now. The link to purchase is in the bio of this video. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll answer them quickly and to the best of my ability. And yeah, happy planning. Oh yeah, one more thing. Shout out to the nail tech who inspired this creation. Um, she did ask for something like this. So um, the reason why this is coming out is because of you. You know who you are. Thank you so much. Um, we love you.